What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into Teen Titans Academy, issue number 11. Now, if you have not been keeping up with everything going on with the Teen Titans Academy, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this line. And from the front cover, you guys can see that it says Red X is revealed. So make sure you stay all the way through to the end of the issue because we're going to talk exactly on that topic. But after 11 issues, we are finally getting to the conclusion finally starting to wrap up this story arc. Everything appeared to be building to the future state that we saw for the Teen Titans. We have learned that Dane, aka Nevermore, he is in fact the harbinger for the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And because of this, Red X believes, or is under the assumption, that the Teen Titans are going to kill him. What they don't know is that in his death, it will release the Horsemen. And so while Red X does everything he can to protect Dane, we see the confrontation between them and the Teen Titans. Now, be sure to buy the comics, support the industry, and with that being said, oh, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up in the fray with our standoff between Red X and the Titans. And Red X is letting them know that none of them are going to step another foot closer to him. As a red orb begins to surround both Red X and Dane, this is where we see the arrival of Wally West, as well as Wallace West. And so with the flashes making their arrival, they recognize this red orb is in fact an electromagnetic field, and it has a chaotic phase variance, which means not even the flashes are able to run through this thing. And this is no device. This is coming from Red X, because he in fact has powers. And as the field begins to collapse on Dane, protecting him from the Titans, Red X lets everybody know that they are not getting one inch closer to him. Now at this point, Nightwing and the others, they're trying to figure out why he is doing this. Why are you standing in front of us, stopping us from doing what needs to be done? But Red X firmly believes that they have every intention of killing him. And so because of this, he refuses to leave his side. And that's what takes us to two months ago, with whoever Red X is working with. He is the one that got Red X into the academy. He is the one that has been setting all of this up. They have known for quite some time that Dane is going to be responsible for the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. What many of the individuals don't know is that if Dane is killed and the Horsemen are released, it will unleash the unkindness. It will lead to the inevitable events of future states. And so if Dane is killed, that is the first step in moving towards the unkindness being created. And so what Red X's real intention is, is to save Dane's life, make sure that he stays alive until somehow the apocalypses are released. And when the horsemen are let loose, they plan to take them on one at a time. And so taking us back to present day, we see Roy Harper gathering all of the students and trying to evacuate them as quickly as possible. And while all this is happening, we see Red X begin to charge up, his hands glowing a bright red. And he lets them know that if you take one more step towards Dane, I will bring the entire Titan Tower down. And we have Raven pleading with him, begging him to stop this because he doesn't understand what is going to be released because of Dane. As he continues to charge up, he lets her know that he knows all too well what will come. As Starfire and the others go to make their attack, this is when he lets go of his power. Releasing every bit of energy, we see the lightning crack come down from the sky, landing directly on top of Teen Titan Tower. We see the place in complete shambles. And so now it is an all-out evacuation. Everyone trying to get out of the Titan Tower before it is too late, before it comes collapsing down on all of them. 
but for some reason the titan tower it is still holding and that is because of gorilla greg and many of our other students they are doing everything they can to hold the foundation and ensure the titan tower stays standing long enough for everyone to make their evacuation and in all the chaos this is where we see the rock of eternity it pops up out of nowhere landing directly next to titan tower and with the rock of eternity we see shazam and black adam and obviously this is not something that red x had anticipated asking what the heck they did what they did is redirected all of the energy that he had put out because what red x had done is dropped 10 mega joules of electromagnetic energy onto the tower like a ground rod and so they just made sure to channel that energy into a good place into a place where it could bring the rock of eternity back and this is where we see black adam he goes in on red x and the two of them they start duking it out but they are just doing this in the background as raven has a conversation with captain marvel and as it stands raven is not seeing any kind of visions everything that they are doing now is brand new and so by all appearances they stop the horsemen from being able to make their escape they stop the unkindness they stop the future states but this is just the first step there is a lot that could go wrong but they now have a chance of saving the future but black adam in the midst of all of his fighting with red x he lets shazam know that they can't waste any more time here they need to leave and they need to leave now and so captain marvel going over to all of the titans and telling them it is time to say goodbye and this isn't a goodbye i'll see you around here soon this is a goodbye i'm going to be gone for the foreseeable future and that is because the rock is the only place that can imprison the four horsemen but that is only if they have captain marvel and black adam standing at the gates protecting it ensuring that no one can come in or out but before he goes he wants to let all of them know that he believes in team titans academy he believes that they are doing very good things here because while things may look sideways right now there are so many students that they have helped out throughout this entire ordeal and so with everyone doing their hugs saying their goodbyes simultaneously red x and black adam are still going at it black adam obviously is going really easy on him because black adam at this point he's like 10 million years old so there's no way no matter what powers red x actually has there is no possible way he would be able to go toe to toe with black adam black adam is really just keeping him occupied while he says goodbye to the titans while shazam is saying goodbye to the titans but with all of our goodbyes out of the way we see him walk into the bubble walking in there this is where we find dane staring up at an infinite amount of stars and at this point dane has accepted that they are going to attempt to kill him to try to stop the riders from being able to break through the shazam he's letting him know that that's not the case that's not what we are doing here you saved me at one point in time and now i am here to save you and so together we're gonna go into the rock of eternity a place that is infinite and it has so much that you could possibly do anything you wanted not only that it also has a cafe with a cranky young caretaker that may or may not be black adam for some reason but he makes a promise to dane letting him know that once this process is complete as long as all three of them are inside that rock then these riders will never bother anybody ever again with black adam coming in and letting them know that it is seriously time to go this is when they leave going outside dane doesn't really know what's going on or what happens next but shazam tells him all you have to do is say my name and so as dane goes to yell captain marvel shazam stops him and says no not that name my other name and so with him yelling shazam the three of them they disappear into the rock of eternity and now with red x in custody it appears that this battle has been won with everyone believing they're safe believing that all of the chaos is done that is until we start to see the fall of titan's tower 
with the tower beginning to crumble, with our heroes and students making their run for it. That is where this issue will end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Right, I was saving this for the end, but I definitely have to say I am severely disappointed. On the front cover, it literally says Red X Revealed, yet they didn't actually do a reveal. They just hinted at who it could possibly be. Now, by all appearances, it is looking like it is Brick. Brick being one of the new students brought on to the academy, and he has displayed kind of EMP type powers that closely resemble Red X's abilities. But they did not explicitly say that it is Brick. They just showed off his powers, and they were like, oh, Red X is revealed, as if that is some kind of reveal. That is extremely infuriating. And for all we know, this is all smoke and mirrors. This could all just be a ploy to deter us from who is actually Red X. 11 issues in to include an annual and we still are not getting a freaking answer. But I'm gonna have to say it's gotta be Brick. That's the only thing that makes sense up to this point. He is the only one that has been missing from multiple issues. We have seen Red X display a type of EMP ability and so we know he has powers. We know good majority of the other students and what they are capable of. So the only logical answer would be Brick. What we don't know is who is the shadowy figure who has been giving him orders, who has been guiding him along this entire path. That is the real question and that is the real mystery that is still left standing. But by all appearances, it looks like Future State has finally come to an end. Though there is always the possibility of our writers being able to make their escape from the Rock of Eternity, with the help of Black Adam being 10 million years old. Now this is not the Black Adam that we are seeing in the Justice League or anything like that. This is a Black Adam from the future that has come back to stop the writers, to help Shazam in everything that they are doing. And so while the unkindness still has the possibility of becoming a reality, it looks like we have finally shifted into a different direction and are headed down a brand new timeline. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you don't miss any of the awesome content that we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.